to some of these skills. So for me to respect somebody, those, you would have to do something that would cause me to want to respect you. For example, say uh, Michael Jordan, one of the best of basketball player ever. I respect him because he works hard to become the best basketball player ever. I personally think respect is when people value your opinion and admire you for who you are and the way in which you conduct yourself. Respect is a valuable feeling that is earned and should not be confused with fear. You must first show respect in order to gain respect. Respect is critical, it's so, it's so important and for me to gain respect you have to show respect. If you don't give it to people, you don't show it to people, they won't respect you back and that's the starting point. Respect is essential to every human being and particularly for the children, pupils alike. Respect is very important, it's essential and there is mutual respect between the teaching staff and the pupils and students and has to carry on as it is to carry on getting really good grades in your levels. I think respect is basically how you treat people and it's basically the way I look at it I would like to be treated a certain way so that's how I treat others so you treat people kindly you um, accept that they're entitled to their views you deal with people politely all of those are elements of respect I think Respect is all about when you respect someone and then they and then they respect you back and they become like a French you have a friendship and then they when you get bullied or something and then they can look out for you. Respect is all about respecting your teachers and friends. When you respect your teachers, you don't want to backchat or argue with them and when you respect them by listening to them and doing what they say. And from for your friends, they when you without respect you will have nothing. So when your friends are there for you they will help you in times of need and whenever you need. I think respect is showing consideration to other people, thinking about how you treat people. I think respect has its base or its nucleus in manners. And I think if people have basic manners, it leads towards being respectful to other people. I think respect is holding the door open for someone, letting them go past, um, saying good morning. Does that sound a bit old fashioned? Sorry. Okay, so what I think about respect, certainly in terms of the school, is that we try and foster um, students to have respect for themselves, to have high aspirations, to take responsibility for themselves, and, and out of that to, to start to respect others, to respect the environment of the college, respect the world that they're in, to be good citizens, um, and to become um, you know, independent adults who can be part of society and make a contribution. Um, so. I think there's respect, you can think of it in two different ways. There's uh, self-respect, um, and respecting yourself means, I, I think, kind of conducting yourself and living your life in such a way that, that there's nothing you should be ashamed of. So you don't kind of behave or do anything that, that kind of would cause you to be embarrassed if it was brought to light. Um, so that's self-respect and then respect for other people, which I think is really important because it's that that allows us to live kind of together um, in, in communities. And, and that means treating people um, uh, you know, as you would like to be treated, treating them as, as kind of human beings and, and uh, dealing with them in that way. Respect for me is um, an understanding of, it's kind of a mutual understanding between people in that um, everybody should work under the assumption that we are um, trying to help each other okay? and that should be the first the sort of default setting when you're when you come into contact with anybody when you when you meet anybody in there yes to a certain extent respect does need to be earned but I feel like you need to look at it in the sense of in a similar way to the whole 
um, law ideal that everybody is innocent until proven guilty. I think everybody should start assuming respect for other people and assuming that they're going to treat them as they would like to be treated themselves. Okay. And if then somebody proves that they are not worthy of, the, of that respect, then perhaps that balance shifts a little bit. And, um, you know, that's when you get a slightly different relationship.